The Ram 9 is a top tier SMG, but then they buffed it, so I got a build that's so disgusting that you'll probably get shadow banned. Ladies and gents, so a lot of people don't agree with the buff, but honestly, I do agree with it. The overall, like, gun was already good. The only thing that they buffed was the sprint to fire speed, which was the bad thing about the gun. It was lacking in that sprint to fire speed compared to other guns, to where for the comb, I would always really have to run the recon comb to increase that sprint to fire. But now that they increased it, I don't really need to rock that anymore, allowing me to have a free extra attachment. What they also did in the recent, oh, I guess not the recent update, but the update before this update was that they buffed one of the barrels, the imp Praetor Light Barrel. I know I said that wrong. This one's going to maximize that damage range, making this thing take less shots at range, allowing you for a faster time to kill, with the only con being a little bit of our recoil control. Before, this would only give us like 10% increase, but then we would lose like 15% recoil control across the board, making it so the high grade rounds were more valuable. But now, you're definitely going to want to run this one, especially because we get a big bolt velocity increase, allowing this thing to just feel a lot more responsive. It's going to feel like you're playing on a lower ping. Next up, we are going to be going over to the stock, and we are going to be adding the HVS 3.4 pad. This is going to give us that aim and idle stability, making it easier to hit that first shot, gun kick control, and we get the fire and aiming stability. Overall, making the gun absolutely beam. You guys are going to see in the MGB gameplays, I was using this thing like an AR. I know we are losing a little bit of our mobility, but those pros are going to outweigh those cons. Now this thing is basically going to have no horizontal recoil, no vertical recoil, and we have a lot of range. Like You could really use this thing like an SM, I mean like an AR. This is also going to be very good for Warzone as well, so it really does doesn't matter what you're doing this is gonna be a insane build that being said you guys can see there was still a little bit of recoil on the weapon if you want to be completely off the radar you don't want the enemies to never know where you're at then i would add the requieter suppressor if that's how you say it. this one is gonna have a built-in laser that's like the biggest con of it but you do get ads speed and firing aiming stability so it's like a light suppressor that also helps you control the recoil on the weapon where you guys can also run if you just want literally zero recoil and you don't mind being on the radar i would add the purifier muzzle break i know we are losing our ball velocity and our range but that's the reason we are running the barrel to compensate this con but for me you know you guys could probably already guess we are going to be adding the compensated flash hider giving us that firing aim and stability eliminating all that recoil and we're not going to be on the radar as long with basically having no cons at all i really like the compensated thing like it's really hard to not run that muzzle because it just is the best muzzle in the game for that recoil control you guys can see ads speed very snappy and now we can use this thing up to long range like i wasn't even strafing there and we're still beaming like crazy so next attachment in the gameplay i'm running a brand new underbarrel that we don't really need to use on this gun but it is really satisfying so i do recommend you guys to try it out if you're running like a suppressor you kind of have to run this underbarrel because we are already getting so much recoil control at the muzzle that we don't really need this but this one's going to be the ftac sp10 angled grip previously a lot of people would run the bruin heavy because it would be the best one for the horizontal recoil but they just nerfed that one and then this angled one is actually going to be the best under barrel for recoil control on the horizontal side of things but we don't get as much recoil gun kick luckily this gun doesn't really have any gun kick so that doesn't really matter too much angle grip is going to be definitely a very good under barrel but you guys can also run what i prefer to run is going to be the dr6 hand stop i know it just got nerfed but it's still going to be the best under barrel if you want to increase the mobility we can move around the map quicker we can strafe quicker we can ads quicker and we can fire the gun after sprinting a whole lot quicker if you want more recoil control and mobility then i would add the phantom 5 i know a lot of people like this one but i don't really think you need that recoil control so i'd rather get the mobility increase overall though remember the gameplay i'm running the angled under barrel even though it's a little bit overkill now from here doesn't matter what you add same with the under barrel the main part of this build is the muzzle the barrel and the stock the rest is all personal preference so if you want to add an optic you could try out that brand new moors dot site this one's like a chode i don't really like it at all but i know some people do like it it kind of makes it feel like the maddox in a way it's just a you know a new attachment makes the guns feel new lasers you don't really need them except for the flash actually is really nice because the sprint fire speed on this gun is still kind of slow but this is going to increase that by a lot so it does make it a little bit better at close range and then um you could even add the comb for the sprint fire speed i don't think you really need it but you know if you want it really does make the weapon nice when you add the recon comb so definitely try to have some fun with it and then what you guys can also add is the retort 90 that's going to eliminate more recoil but again you don't really need more recoil control that's just if you're like a fiend for
for recoil control. And then uh, I almost was going to run this. I say that in every video, but high green rounds, definitely a very good um, ammo for this gun because it's going to increase the damage range by another 15%. And if you pair it up with that muzzle, you guys can see still, I mean, with that under barrel, no recoil in the gun, we're going to be able to get a insane time to kill up to 17.5 meters. So definitely take a screenshot of this clash right here. Insane class. But you know, we were running out of ammo a lot and we're going for the spawn traps guy. Crazy games. Like if you want to see someone who looks like they have a Cronus, watch the gameplay. This one, I'm going to be rocking 40 round mag, not running the 50 because the 50 just hurts the gun a lot. It's only an extra 10 bullets for a lot more cons. Again, personal preference. You guys can run whatever you want. I like the 40. You might like the 50. And so if you guys do want a screenshot of the exact build I'm rocking here, you guys go. Keep in mind, I do think this build is a little bit better. And there's a couple other variations too. So have some fun with it. And then the secondary I am going to be rocking in the gameplay is the Renetti. They haven't patched this thing yet. By the time you're watching this, they probably patched it, but definitely the best secondary right now. Take advantage of it while you can. You could take off the rig up or the underbarrel for an optic if you don't like the iron sights. Just make sure you have the jack, the jack ferocity carbine kit. We got the compression carrier. I'm gonna be rocking this in like almost every video. I usually like the infantry vest so I can tax for it a little bit longer, but this one literally, whenever you get a kill, it's gonna replenish your health to full value. So unbelievably helpful for getting those chain feeds. Like I am getting way better gameplays than I was before. The only thing is that you don't get a tactical and you don't get a field upgrade. So that's why I'm running the scavenger gloves so I don't run out of ammo on those nuke streaks. We're running sneakers so I can tax for a little bit longer on the bigger maps or just maps where enemies are more likely to hear my footsteps i'll run the covert sneakers mag holster been rocking this a ton i haven't really been dying by nades that much so i've been having a great time with the mag holster allows you to reload a lot quicker so you can play on the small maps like emergency it just pop off yeah rio shield man mr ninja turtle oh the triple with no accuracy whatsoever we're missing shots but it's okay you know it's all part of the plot i gotta make you guys think i'm not that good and then i'll start beaming I, I hope I start beaming right now, though. There we go. We're all good. I don't know why. I, I like feel like I can run away faster if I look at the ground. Honestly, I didn't think someone was going to be there. It's like when you ADS somewhere and you don't think there's going to be a guy there. So then you don't or female and you just don't react. Bro, can you get your shield out of here, man? I love Sledgehammer, but I hate their shields, man. I hate their shields. Even though, that, wait, that's not even their shield. That's Infinity Ward's shield. Fuck Infinity Ward. Ooh, I don't know why they buffed this thing. This is already an incredible SMG. There's no need to buff it. Them buffing this is kind of like making a black cock even bigger. Like, it, you don't need to do that. Too much going on. Oh, yo, see, man, I got your back, man. I got your back, man. I got your back. Don't worry, man. Actually, I should have let you die, though, because you're using the Godzilla skin. I'm totally not using the same skin. But, uh, you know, like that Godzilla movie was dog shit. I hated that movie. You know why I hated that movie? That was just them being like, okay, let's make a movie. Let's just add as much cool stuff as we can. Let's just add dopamine and more dopamine. What is he doing? He, like, spawned in there, and he was, like, in a nightmare running in circles in the room. See right there, I was tracking him with my left stick. I wasn't even really using my right stick. Always use your left stick as you move. Thank you, Advance UAV. Making my life so much easier. Oh, I thought... Well, yeah, I did get a kill right there. Jesus. Bro, this actually is the best SMG in the game. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Yo, leave a like and subscribe if you are new. We got the MGB. Let's go, boys. And if you if you enjoy the vibe, sorry. If you enjoy the vibes, make sure you uh you stop by a live stream. 
stream a decent amount almost every day and a lot of rank play though typically not bot not bots but you know like not public match worst enemies like rank play i just play iridescence that shit's late day 24 7 but i also do warzone content if you look up more cbass i got that channel same videos i do want to eventually get the warzone channel to be like where I don't really necessarily explain the class. I know people like that a lot because you guys learn a lot in things. But I also, like, I feel weird explaining the class for, like, the Ram 9 on multiplayer. And then I make another video. And it's explaining the Ram 9 again, but on Warzone. But I'm, like, saying the same thing. Teammates, can you guys stop? Jesus! Bro, I thought I was the biggest lion here. It's actually crazy. Would you go from rank play, like if you are a high rank and then going into like public matches, it makes public matches feel so easy. Just because you're used to going against like, you know, top players. Well, if you're if you're up in like the iridescent lobbies where a lot of people are cheating and stuff, like it is mind blowing the difference it is from that in the pubs. Pubs can get pretty crazy, but there's nothing like playing an iridescent lobby. That's just straight sweaty. I played a lot of pro players. I'm going to be honest. They, they kind of flipped me inside out. But, you know, they are a pro. So, hopefully, they can do that. What is he doing? Is he just thinking about life? Oh, his mother doesn't like him anymore. Because he uses a shield. Fucking loser. Quad feet again? You can't stop me with this thing. Bro, no! No! This shouldn't be happening. Damn, right there, I was just slow as hell on the brain. So slow. Next gameplay. I was gonna go to a big map. But honestly, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be honest. So well, obviously, because I said honest. To be honest, if I liked, uh, I mean, wait, I forgot I was gonna say fuck. Uh, something to do with honest. What what was it? Yo, leave a comment if you're watching this. Leave a comment saying to be honest or what is honest. Something about honest. Okay, so honesty is key, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah. To be honest, I don't really enjoy the big maps. Like I only enjoy the small maps in this game. Like I just. I can't play on the other maps like I can. I just honestly don't really enjoy them. Like this is way more enjoyable to me. But I don't want to like every game to play to be this to be this because it's not as enjoyable. It gets repetitive. But the small map playlist it just makes videos so fun to record. And you know what, user? You know what? That was a great name, but I'm gonna have to call in the Drake on you. I gotta call it in. I'm super sorry, man. Say say goodbye to your family. It's over. Bro, to be honest, this is a great gameplay. No, that could have been sick. That could have been rad. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Oh my days. What a nuke. Bro, I just like how there's so much range. Okay, yeah, he's ready again. Another moment he's been training for. I'll take it. Has everyone been training for these moments? What the hell? Bro, move! Get some more confidence! We already know that guy's an incel.
Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I need you guys to keep moving forward, though. Once I get the MGB, I'll slow down. That could have been really bad. That could have been even worse. There's the MGB. Let's fucking go, boys. Let's go. If you haven't already, left a like. Fuck you. Because you should have left a like a long time ago. Bro, it's just so smooth. Everything right now is just extremely smooth and just nice and just flowy honestly i think i can get a double nuke right now never mind i spoke extremely too soon we're going sicko mode right now we get the one let's get the fastest nuke we've ever gotten he saw me frying his whole team and he picked up my gun I knew there was someone near me. I just got so antsy. I was like, I can just pop a slide like that and dodge him if I can get this kill. But it took me a little bit too long to get the other kills. But okay. Timer starts now. Let's see how, how long this thing takes. I have zero words for this. Can you die, bitch? The fuck? No, no, no. That doesn't even make sense. They should have died so long ago. Maybe I just got a little bit too cocky. Nuke timer starts now. So we got the one kill. For some reason, I thought that pink gun was my gun because I've ran that camo a lot on this gun. But I have a completely different camo. And I, I'm an actual idiot to think that. <laughs> the whole time I thought he was picking up my gun, I was like, wow. He's like really fighting my gun over and over. This is a pistol, keep in mind. This is a motherfucking pistol. Oh my days! Jesus! Well, that wasn't another nuke, but that was something crazy. Okay, you know what? I messed up the buttons. We're getting a little bit too antsy. Let's go on the MG motherfucking B. 
Vamos, let's go, jolly good show. Let's go. Fucking ass. You don't stop. You don't stop. Whoa, whoa, no swearing in this household. To me. CBS on YouTube. No, do not swear again. I'm gonna tell your mother. I will fuck your mother.